when SFE drops you that text at the beginning of the term, you get gas. You're like, oh my god, I can buy that new pair of Nike Air Forces. No, we're not doing that. We're gonna actually spend it towards our accommodation. Over the past year, I found a really good way to figure out where all my money is going. And in terms of money, it's not my personal spending, but what I'm spending in terms of my accommodation, so my rent, my gas, my electricity, and my Wi-Fi. Because I have found that I'm spending so much money on this stuff, and I don't actually know how much of my money is actually going towards this. Now, a lot of you will know that there's a thing called student finance, which you can apply to at the beginning of your academic year. And depending on your household income, you basically get a certain amount that you can use for your accommodation. This varies from like, £3,000 to like £9,000. Some people get a really low maintenance loan because they have a very high household income and honestly it just depends on your situation and your family situation at home. But my point of this video is not about how much maintenance loan I'm getting, it's about how I'm using my maintenance loan in the correct way so that I'm not just wasting it on buying random things. So without further ado, let's get into the video and let's talk about how we're going to organise our finances in 2022. Basically I'm just going to talk through exactly how everything is. I have a page on my notion page called accommodation and I'm basically got the different accommodations that I've lived at over the past two years because I've only used notion for like about a year and a half and I've got a breakdown of those so under accommodation I've got my third year house and my fourth year house and I've got a bunch of other addresses which is like my previous accommodation addresses because sometimes when you're applying for things you need to know like where you've lived before so it's good to keep it all in one place and I've got something about student finance because I have this massive email that I had with them so I've just saved it all there so any information or any contact details I need it's just there under this toggle and then I have like a breakdown of my maintenance loan each year And this is basically so that I have an idea of how much I'm getting It does slightly vary year on year and it depends on like how the household income changes I think loads of people are in this situation where they have a really expensive accommodation and their loan doesn't cover it So I just wanted to put it out there. You're not on your own There are people like me who do have to pay a little bit extra as well But it's good to know like how much you're getting so then you can divide it up over the year Let's look at how we're actually organized the finances so at the top I basically have some general pointers about my accommodation for that year so I've got the length of stay which is August 2021 to July 22 I've got the rent that was on our contract so it was 346 um, point 67 a month and then 86 pounds 68 per week so it's just giving me an idea of how much it costs to live in my house in Leicester just so you know like I need a, like around 100 pounds a week to survive so basically what I have is something which I've called the payment checklist and what you're basically doing is you've got you make a little table of how how much you need to pay in each month or each term and you just see how much the rent costs you in total um so with our landlord we actually pay every month and um, it depends on your landlord and your tenancy agreement blah blah blah, blah but we pay each month so then if i total it up including the deposit and the half rent that we had to pay i've got a total of four thousand three three hundred thirty three pounds i've got to pay for the year and this is the accommodation in leicester this is going to be very very variable depending on where you live i put like date on the side to tell myself when i paid it and i've also written like how much of it is my own money and how much of it is SFE and then the next part which I think is really good is bills so I'm in charge of Wi-Fi in my house and Wi-Fi costs us $26.99 per month that is for four people so obviously you've got to divide that up and that comes to £6.75 so every time I pay it or it comes out of the direct debit from my current account then I write down the date that it comes down and then I've also got my friends names to make sure they paid me as well because sometimes it's really hard to keep on top of who's paid you who hasn't paid you stuff like that um, and I know it can be kind of confusing as well so if you've got a little table that's set out like this then it's really useful to just have a visual representation of how much you're spending so since July August September October we have spent I've spent a total of 31 pounds on Wi-Fi which I think is pretty good and um, because per month that's only like seven pounds so because I've got an overall idea I'm like okay this is still within my budget so I can kind of work with this so I'm not in charge of this my other two housemates are so one of them does gas and electricity and one of them's in charge of water I basically write down how much I've had to transfer them so from September to December we've had to pay 149 pounds 24 so I have a heads up because I know that my student finance isn't going to cover it and this is basically what I need to do to make sure I can pay everything and not be in debt or like in my overdraft or whatever. If you guys would like, I can make a template and I can insert it in the link below because I genuinely think if you organise like ha your house finances like this, it's a really good visual way of knowing how much you're spending and I think I'm going to put this forward to when I'm like living or when I finally get my own house when I'm older because you can see exactly how much you're spending in terms of like your own 
own accommodation and how much is the cost of living actually costing you so as a student these numbers are huge um, and i'm very grateful for student finance so that we can actually uh you know use the money to survive so i hope this video is useful it is a bit of a random one but genuinely it saved my life over the past year because i know how much i'm spending and how much it costs to live. If you'd like more little videos like this to do with Notion and how to use it and stuff, um, then do let me know. And once again, if you find the video useful, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Share this with your friends who, you, who might benefit from this. And genuinely, it's a really good idea because you're not gonna be worried about where your money's going. You know exactly where your money's going and what you're using it for. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and I hope you guys are managing your finances well.